I'm like, uh, I, I want to like, I want to extend, and I, you're God, so I know you can do anything you want. So I want you to extend this for me. So he says, he tells me, if you have this much faith, it will happen. If you keep having, if you have faith, it will happen. He said, will, and I like it will. So I go back, back. No, in the evening we had dinner, and then Swamini asked me. Asked me and Pauline whether we were leaving the following day, and then I told her no because Guruji had promised that he would extend my ticket for me. <laughs> so I told her Pauline might be leaving, I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, so Guruji said, uh, but you better call the the travel office. I, I hadn't thought of it, so I was like, yeah, I'll call them tomorrow. So come tomorrow, I call, I go downstairs in the hotel and I call the travel my travel agent. He tells me because there was an interference in the ticket, I have to go to the KQ office, Kenya Airways. So I, I plan to go and then I go to Bagatel. I meet the, tra the travel agent, some, a lady there. She tells me, so I ask her what it takes to, to, switch, to switch trip days. So for some reason, this whole time I'm waiting for a miracle. I was thinking maybe she would tell me something, I don't know. So she just tells me, changing the dates from 25th to 30th, which was the next available flight, will cost me $380. So at the moment, I'm looking at her waiting for her to tell me, it, but for you it's free because Guruji. <laughs> <laughs> She's just looking at me with a blank stare. I was like, okay, fine. Sorry, I have a headache. So, um, so I leave. I, I feel in my heart the... The fight that I want to feel bad about it, Guruji is not yet coming through, but the more overwhelming feeling was, I, I, I'll be fine. So I go and then I see a mall, and then I see the beautiful mountains, I take photos, I go have fun at the mall, and then I come back for Darshan. So I come back for Darshan, and then the day ends, nothing happens. For some reason, I've ever heard the story of Guruji's first encounter where he materialized his own flight tickets. I swear I thought that my ticket would change from 25th to 29th. So I kept checking, but it was still 25th. <laughs> okay, so that didn't happen. So we came yesterday to tell people goodbye here. And then I'm still waiting for a miracle. It's still not happening. Guruji is still telling us goodbye. And I'm like, oh my God. So, so, Guruji, so Pauline asked something. And then Guruji asked, uh, asked me, Have, did you go to the to the travel agent. I said, yeah, you told me to go, I went. What did they say? They say changing a flight ticket was around $400. It's like, wow, that's very expensive. It's like a ticket. I'm like, yes. So now what are you going to do? I'm like, I don't know. Tell me the next instruction. You gave me the first instruction, I did it. What am I supposed to do? I don't have $400. So he, he doesn't say anything. Then Pauline had asked for Bibuti, so we go to the room. For, he, he got us Bibuti. And as we are leaving, I, I, I was, he was behind us, so I turned to him and told him, Guruji, I'm still waiting for your miracle. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are on our way out, nothing is happening. So we go out, he just smiles and says, just go. So we come and tell Swami goodbye, they were standing up there. And then I'm telling Swami, so during the dinner, I told Guruji and everyone, we, uh, uh, we would like to cook ugali. Ugali is our staple food back in Kenya. So I told Guruji, since I need, I mean, I told Swami since they were going for shopping, I told him to buy flour because I'm coming back to cook ugali. So he asked me, well, then where are you going? I'm like, I'm taking Paul into the airport, I'm coming back. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so we left. No miracle still. We left. I had no, I had, I have been learning through this week to trust, and that's what also Swami told us. And in as much as there was like a bit of doubt, I kept telling myself, whatever Guruji wants to happen is what is best for me. So if he wants me to go back home, I'll go back home and I'll still be happy. So I went without, I wasn't fighting it. So we go to the airport, we get there one hour before, and then, oh, my headache is, is going down, it's funny. So we get there one hour before, so they call us, when we have, it's time to check in, I, I'm standing, and then in front of me is, is, is the lady calls me. And then I notice that that's Kai priority, and then the others are economy. I'm like, but that's weird because I've been told before, 
no matter what is happening to the economy line, nobody goes to the sky priority. So it could be a mistake, but I'm not sure. So the lady is there, she's talking, she's smiling to, to the lady and a gentleman, they're smiling at me like so, like I'm someone important. And then they ask me, she, she was humbly asking me whether she could, she tells me the flight is full. I already knew that before we went, but when this has happened before, Guruji would sort it out. So she told me, the flight is full, can I give you uh, the flight tomorrow morning, and then I'll give you accommodation and I'll give you a hundred dollars. Okay, so it hadn't registered that I'm being given a hundred dollars for whatever, like it just didn't register. So I went, uh, I, I said it's fine, but if, can I change the date instead of tomorrow, can I fly any other day? I was just trying, but she could have said no. So she said, yeah, let's check. She called someone else and then they checked. They asked me which dates are available. So in the, in, when I went to the travel agent in Bagatel, I already knew the available dates were 30th and 1st. So I asked, I told her to check and she was telling me 27th. I'm like, no, I want 30th or, or 1st. So she checked, she's like, you have to wait for an hour for us to confirm. It is see, I wasn't worried somehow. Like I somehow knew Guruji was here. Guruji was just there. So I somehow knew it would work out. So she tells me, just wait. So in the meantime, Pauline is also concerned. She's like, so where will you stay? Where, what will be your accommodation? Because we don't have money at this point. My money ended a long time ago. I just had money to go back to the airport. So I'm like, but Guruji will sort it. And even if, like I have all these people who are good to me, I'll just go tell them, like, I want to sleep where you're sleeping and I will get somewhere to sleep. Like, accommodation was the least of my concerns. I have all you guys. So, and then I told him, Guruji will sort it. She kept battering me, she's like, but I'm just being concerned. I'm like, Guruji will sort it and I'm just on my phone. Cool. So one hour later, they call me and tell me, so we have found a spot for you. Which flight would you want to be on, the first flight or the second flight? I, of course, chose the second flight. But why that is important is because there's someone else here from Kenya who's flying on those same flights, and they were telling me that they could not reschedule their flight. So I don't know why there was an opening for both flights. Cool. Then after that, they tell me, so now we, we are going to give you, so the, the, the lady next counter writes for me a check, and then when I look at it, it's 11,000 rupees. Then I go to the counter for the bank, and I'm asking them, because it looks a lot. I ask them, so how much is this in dollars? They tell me it's like $300. I'm like, what? Ah, it was supposed to be $100. I wasn't even supposed to get any money, so how did it go to $300? Like, that is the most money I've ever gotten in my life for doing nothing. In like a minute. So $300. Then they tell me, do you have a taxi? I tell them, no, I don't have a taxi. They tell me, don't worry, there is a car outside and it's going to be on us. I'm like, okay, then. So they, I go outside and then, oh, because I told them the only condition for getting accommodation, I mean, 30th flight was accommodation. So I told them I'll have my own accommodation. Yet I did not have any accommodation. I did not know whether any of you would accept me. <laughs> so, well, I knew it would be sorted. So I just told them I have accommodation in that one. So I went outside and then saw this car. So there was a small car and a big car. And in my wildest dreams, guys, I would not have assumed this big car was my car. <laughs> I'm happy to go with a small car, it's free. And then they escort me and show me the big car, and I'm like, oh my god, my mind is blown. It was so beautiful and new and amazing. So I get inside, and then they tell me they're going to take me anywhere I want to go. So I was going to come here directly, go back to me about where I'm going to sleep. Then on the way, I have the thought of, oh, now I have money, I'm rich. I can go back to where I was staying and book there. So I, and then after I got here, I, I freshened up is when Guruji started the, Guruji started the, the, the session for the evening. So yeah, that's my story. And I'm still my blown until now talking about it, but he's amazing. He's amazing, amazing, amazing. I have so many other things to tell you, but so far that was relevant. Thank you.